Welcome to Stoic in Your Life, where ancient wisdom meets modern adventures. Today, let's embark on a journey to transform the ordinary into the extraordinary. Remember the words of the great philosopher Seneca, Life, if well lived, is long enough. Is the life of each person truly memorable or not depends on how they use each day differently. To have a meaningful life, don't live 75 years the same way. Fill your life with meaningful and memorable experiences based on some principles in this video. Billionaire Warren Buffett once said, Basically, I can buy anything I want except time. The average British person has 5 hours and 49 minutes a day for entertainment, and that time has never been as valuable as today. A study on time and how to use it will teach you how to use your time more effectively through a list of 7 points, abbreviated as stories. Stories are formed from seven words. Story, transformation, outside and offline relationships, intensity, experience, and status and significance. With this intelligent time usage method, be the hero in your own life journey. With challenges and hardships, life will become more vibrant. Stands for story. The story. In the realm of personal growth and self-discovery, there's a profound state of being that, once achieved, can dramatically shift your reality. This transformative state is akin to entering a new dimension of existence where your perception and interaction with the world undergo a radical change. The journey to this state is unique for each individual, but there are universal elements that guide us there. Let's delve into this journey, keeping in mind the wise words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca, who said, Life, if well lived, is long enough. The first step in this journey is understanding the power of your story. Our lives are a tapestry of experiences, weaving together threads of joy, sorrow, triumph, and defeat. These experiences shape our inner nature, revealing who we are at our core. They unfold in two directions, inward, revealing our deepest selves, and outward, allowing us to express our true nature to the world. This duality is crucial in understanding and embracing our identity. Consider your life story as a wellspring of motivation. It's a sequence of events that have led you to this moment. Your experiences craft narratives, narratives foster conversations, conversations build connections, and connections forge meaningful relationships. It's in these relationships that we often find our greatest happiness. This process is a journey, not a destination, and each step is vital in leading us to a state of contentment and fulfillment. Now imagine yourself as the protagonist of your life's adventure. Ask yourself, how do you envision being a hero in your next chapter? What calls to adventure are you attuned to? Reflect on the challenges you anticipate and the allies who will stand by your side. Recall past hurdles you've overcome drawing strength and confidence from those victories. This introspection is not just about building a narrative. It's about understanding your journey's purpose and direction. Incorporating these insights into modern life requires a blend of introspection and action. It's about recognizing the power of your story and using it as a compass to navigate the complexities of today's world. Your experiences are not just memories, they are lessons that shape your perspective and actions. By understanding and embracing your story, you can move forward with a sense of purpose and clarity. In conclusion, entering this transformative state is about understanding and embracing your life story. It's a journey that involves introspection, recognition of your inner nature, and the use of your experiences as a source of motivation and direction. By doing so, you align yourself with a reality that is more fulfilling and meaningful, guided by the timeless wisdom of Stoicism and the lessons of your own life. Remember, as Seneca said, a life well lived is indeed long enough, and it's within your power to make every moment count. Stands for transformation. Transformation. Embarking on the adventure of a lifetime is akin to a transformative journey one that reshapes our very essence and guides us towards becoming the person we've always aspired to be. This transformation is not just a change. It's an evolution of our character, beliefs, and actions. It's about growing purposefully, 
aligning our daily endeavors with the grand vision we hold for ourselves. Consider the allegory of stepping on puddles. Each puddle represents a small challenge or a step in our journey. Do we see these puddles as mere obstacles, or do we view them as stepping stones towards our ultimate transformation? The key lies in having a clear vision of our personal development. It's about knowing not just where we stand today, but also where we aim to be. This vision acts as a compass, guiding us through the complexities of life. Transformation is often compared to a 1,000-mile journey. The sheer length of this journey can be overwhelming, but the secret to traversing it lies in breaking it down into manageable steps. It's about understanding that every small action, every decision, contributes to this grand journey. Just as Lao Tzu famously said, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. This philosophy is crucial in our transformative journey. Each step, no matter how small, is a progression towards our goal. Let's take the story of the butterfly as an example. The transformation from a caterpillar to a butterfly is not just a change in form, it's a complete metamorphosis. This process symbolizes significant growth and transformation. The caterpillar doesn't just grow wings, it evolves into an entirely new entity, capable of soaring heights it couldn't have imagined in its previous form. This allegory resonates deeply with our journey. We are not just changing, we are evolving into a higher version of ourselves capable of achieving things we once thought impossible. In this transformative journey, it's essential to ask ourselves reflective questions. Are we merely stepping on puddles or using them as stepping stones? Do we have a vivid image of our personal growth? How do we perceive ourselves now, and what steps are we taking to evolve? These questions are not just introspective. They are catalysts for our transformation. To truly embark on the adventure of a lifetime, we must embrace transformation in its entirety. It's about setting a purpose, visualizing our growth, and taking deliberate steps towards it. This journey is not just about reaching a destination. It's about evolving and growing into the person we dream of becoming. In conclusion, the adventure of a lifetime is not just an external journey. It's an internal transformation. It's about growing purposefully, visualizing our development and breaking down our grand journey into small achievable steps. As we navigate through this transformative process, we evolve into a version of ourselves that is capable of achieving greatness. This journey is the essence of true happiness and fulfillment. Let this be a guiding light for those seeking to improve their lives, a beacon of inspiration, and a roadmap to personal evolution. Stands for outside and offline, the outside world and offline activities. Next, we're diving into the heart of what it means to truly live, to embrace the adventure of your life. Our focus is on the letter O, which stands for outside and offline. This concept is not just a whimsical idea, it's grounded in scientific evidence. Studies have shown that immersing ourselves in the natural world has profound benefits. It lowers blood pressure, reduces stress, and notably enhances our happiness. Now I want you to pause for a moment and reflect. How often do you integrate nature into your daily routine? Consider the evenings spent glued to your phone or computer. Do they leave you restless, unable to sleep? It's time to break free from the digital chains that bind us to a virtual existence and rediscover the beauty of the real world. Imagine this, stepping outside, feeling the warmth of the sun on your skin, the gentle rustle of leaves in the wind, the symphony of birdsong. This isn't just poetic imagery. It's a call to action. Nature isn't a luxury. It's a necessity for our well-being. The Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This resonates deeply with our theme today. It's about finding joy in the present moment, away from the screens that dominate our lives. But how do we do this? It's about small intentional steps. Start by dedicating a portion of your day to being outside. It could be a morning walk, a short hike on the weekends, or even just enjoying a cup of coffee in your garden. The key is consistency and presence. Be fully there, in the moment, soaking in the sights, sounds, and smells of nature. 
Let's also talk about the offline aspect. In a world where we're constantly bombarded with notifications and digital demands, going offline is a radical act of self-care. It's about creating boundaries where we choose to engage in activities that nourish our souls. This could be reading a book, practicing meditation, or engaging in a hobby that brings you joy. Remember, it's not about shunning technology entirely, but rather finding a balance that allows you to live a more fulfilled life. As we embark on this journey of rediscovering the outside world and the joys of being offline, let's carry with us the wisdom of another great Stoic, Marcus Aurelius, who said, Dwell on the beauty of life, watch the stars and see yourself running with them. This is a powerful reminder to embrace the beauty and simplicity of life, to find harmony with the natural world, and to seek experiences that elevate our spirit. In conclusion, the adventure of your life awaits just beyond your front door and off your digital screens. It's a journey of reconnecting with nature, embracing the present, and finding joy in the simple, yet profound experiences that life offers. As you step outside and switch off, remember that you're not just escaping the chaos of the digital world. You're rediscovering the essence of what it means to be truly alive. So I challenge you, make that choice today to add a bit of nature to your daily life, to break free from the virtual whirlwind and transform your real life into an adventure worth living. Represents relationships. Connections. In the intricate tapestry of life, the thread of relationships connections holds a pivotal role, as underscored by an 80-year-old study from Harvard Medical School. This research illuminates a profound truth. Our happiness is deeply intertwined with our bonds with friends, family, neighbors, and the wider community. It's a revelation that echoes the Stoic belief in the interconnectedness of human experiences, a principle that has stood the test of time. Consider for a moment the extent to which you allow your happiness to radiate outwards, touching the lives of those around you. Reflect on the passions and interests that invigorate your spirit. How many of these are amplified through your connections with others? This introspection is not merely an exercise in thought, but a call to action, urging us to foster and cherish these relationships that are so integral to our well-being. In the realm of Stoicism, the philosopher Seneca once said, True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. This sentiment resonates profoundly with our understanding of relationships. It's about finding joy in the present connections, nurturing them with the same mindfulness and presence that we apply to our inner selves. It's about recognizing that our reality, our very perception of the world, is shaped not just by our internal dialogues but also by the symphony of interactions we have with those around us. As we navigate the modern hustle, it's essential to remember that our relationships are not just passive elements in our lives. They are active gardens that require tending. In a world where digital communication often supersedes face-to-face -face interactions, we must consciously strive to maintain the warmth and authenticity of our connections. This means engaging in meaningful conversations, showing empathy, and being present in the moments we share with others. Moreover, in the spirit of Stoicism, we should embrace the ebb and flow of relationships, understanding that like everything in life, they too are subject to change. This acceptance doesn't diminish their value. Rather, it allows us to appreciate the unique beauty of each connection, however fleeting or long-lasting it may be. In conclusion, as we continue on our Stoic journey, let us hold dear the principle of relationships, connections. Let us weave these bonds into the fabric of our daily lives, enriching our existence and elevating our understanding of happiness. For in the end, it is through our relationships that we find a mirror to our souls, a reflection of our humanity, and a deeper connection to the world around us. Remember, as we cultivate these connections, we don't just shift our reality. We transform the very essence of our being aligning ourselves more closely with the stoic ideal of a life well-lived, stands for intensity. In our journey through life, embracing the philosophy of stoicism can transform ordinary experiences into extraordinary adventures. This concept is epitomized in the principle of intensity, 
a key to unlocking the profound joys of living. Intensity in this context isn't just about vigorous actions. It's about immersing oneself deeply in any endeavor, be it physical, intellectual, or emotional. Consider the moments when you're completely absorbed in an activity, skiing down a snowy slope, cycling through winding paths, or even singing your heart out. These are instances where you experience what psychologists term flow. This state of flow is a universal phenomenon, transcending age, passion, and socioeconomic status. It's a vivid reminder that true happiness hinges not on the nature of the activity, but on the depth of engagement in it. This brings us to a crucial introspection. Are we challenging ourselves enough? Are our lives marked by a balance of difficulty and value? Often we shy away from mistakes, viewing them as setbacks. However, it's essential to recognize that mistakes are not just inevitable, but invaluable. They are the stepping stones to success, as the adage goes, failure is the mother of success. To illustrate this, let's turn to the story of Thomas Edison. His quest to invent the electric light bulb was fraught with setbacks. Yet each failure was a lesson, a stepping stone that eventually led to his groundbreaking invention. Edison's journey exemplifies the Stoic belief in embracing challenges and learning from failures. Similarly, in Stoicism, there's a focus on the concept of amor fati, love of fate. This teaches us to cherish not just the good but also the struggles, viewing them as necessary parts of our life's adventure. It's about finding joy in the journey, not just the destination. Now, imagine applying this principle to our daily lives. Whether it's tackling a complex project at work, learning a new skill, or even navigating personal challenges, Approaching these with intensity and a love for the process can transform these experiences into adventures. It's about finding your flow in the mundane, the challenging, and the unexpected. In conclusion, the stoic journey towards an adventurous life is about embracing intensity in all we do. It's about seeking challenges, learning from mistakes, and finding joy in the process of growth and discovery. As we apply these principles, we not only enrich our own lives, but also inspire those around us. Remember, the adventure of your life is not determined by what you do, but by how intensely and passionately you do it. Let this be a guiding light in your pursuit of happiness and fulfillment. Represents extraordinary. In our journey through life, the letter E stands as a beacon for extraordinary, a reminder that our experiences, both grand and simple, are the essence of true happiness. This happiness stems from a unique phenomenon. We savor these moments not just as they unfold, but also in the anticipation and the memories they create. Picture, if you will, the vibrant hues of a sunset sky or the serene bliss of a boat trip during a leisurely vacation. These experiences linger in our minds, painting our lives with joy and wonder. But let's delve deeper. How can we actively seek out these stimulating experiences? How can we transform even the most mundane moments into extraordinary ones? This quest is not just about chasing the spectacular. It's about recognizing the sacredness in the everyday, the magic in the ordinary. It's about asking ourselves, what can I do today to make my experiences more impactful, more memorable? How can I infuse my daily routine with a sense of adventure and discovery? To truly embrace this concept, we must turn to the wisdom of the Stoics. Seneca, a renowned Stoic philosopher, once said, It is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. This profound statement urges us to seize every moment, to live fully and mindfully. It's about being present in the now, about finding joy in the journey, not just the destination. Imagine transforming a simple walk in the park into an exploration. Noticing the intricate patterns of leaves, the symphony of bird songs, and the dance of sunlight through the trees. Consider how a regular meal can become a culinary adventure, savoring each flavor, each texture, and being grateful for the nourishment it provides. It's about turning the ordinary into the extraordinary. But let's not stop there. Challenge yourself to step out of your comfort zone, embark on new endeavors, learn a new skill, or travel to a place you've never been. These experiences will not only enrich your life, but also provide stories to cherish and share. 
Remember, it's not about the scale of the adventure, but the depth of the experience. In the words of Marcus Aurelius Stoic Sage, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Therefore, approach each day with curiosity and wonder. Embrace each experience, whether it's a conversation with a stranger, a challenging task at work, or a quiet moment of reflection. Find the extraordinary in these experiences and let them shape your thoughts, your actions, and ultimately, your life. As you embark on this adventure of life, remember that the extraordinary is not a distant dream but a present reality waiting to be discovered. It's about seeing the world through a lens of wonder and gratitude, about making each day count. So, go ahead, embrace the extraordinary, and let your life be an adventure filled with joy, learning, and unforgettable experiences. Remember, in the grand tapestry of life, every thread, every color, every pattern is significant. It's up to you to weave these threads into a masterpiece of experiences, a life lived fully and with purpose. In conclusion, let this be your guiding principle. Seek the extraordinary in the ordinary, cherish every moment, and let the wisdom of the Stoics illuminate your path. Your life is an adventure, a beautiful journey of discovery and growth. Embrace it with an open heart and a curious mind, and let the magic of your experiences shape the story of your life. Stands for Status and Significance. In our journey through life, we often grapple with the concepts of status and significance two elements that are deeply intertwined with our sense of self and our place in society. This is the reluctance to openly talk about who we are, what we represent, and where we stand in the societal hierarchy. This hesitation often stems from an association of status with self-centeredness, selfishness, and a hollow sense of success. However, it's crucial to understand that status in its true essence isn't merely a symbol of personal achievement or social ranking. Instead, it's a reflection of our contributions to the world and the impact we have on others. The Stoic philosophers like Seneca emphasize that true fulfillment comes not from external accolades but from internal growth and the betterment of society. Seneca once said, We are born to unite with our fellow men and to join in community with the human race. This quote resonates deeply with the concept of meaningful status suggesting that our significance in society should be measured not by our wealth or titles, but by our contributions to the well-being of others. To gain a deeper understanding of this, ask yourself, are you investing enough time in facing challenges that not only foster your growth, but also benefit others? Is the time spent with your loved ones truly enriching both your life and theirs? These questions are not mere reflections, but are stepping stones to realizing a more significant existence. Psychological research bolsters this stoic view by showing that true satisfaction emanates from giving and sharing with others. It's in these acts of generosity and kindness that we find a status that is both meaningful and fulfilling. This is not about grand gestures, but about the everyday acts of empathy and understanding that weave the fabric of a compassionate society. In our modern lives, where the pursuit of material success often overshadows the quest for inner peace, it's vital to reconnect with these Stoic principles. The challenge lies in balancing our personal ambitions with our responsibilities towards others. It's about finding that equilibrium where our achievements are not just personal milestones, but also stepping stones for communal progress. In conclusion, as we navigate the complexities of status and significance, let us remember that our true worth is defined not by what we accumulate, but by what we contribute. It's in this contribution to the greater good that we find the most profound sense of fulfillment and a reality that shifts towards a more meaningful existence. This stoic approach to life not only enriches our own lives but also creates ripples of positive change in the world around us. For those who are always afraid to try something new, don't let fear hinder your path to success. For most people, the first steps, the first challenges, have never been easy. We fear the unknown and the unpredictable situations that might happen to us. So many times we freeze in the face of opportunities and regretfully miss out, sometimes berating ourselves for not being courageous enough to embrace them. The fear of starting something new comes from countless aspects of life. 
You're about to graduate and start living independently. You want to change your job but are afraid of adapting to a new environment. Remember, everyone will have to face these fears whether you want to or not. The important thing is that we all need to learn how to overcome that fear to find a path for ourselves. Embarking on a new journey, especially when it's uncharted territory, can often stir a whirlwind of apprehension and uncertainty. It's a natural human response, one that even the most seasoned individuals encounter. The fear of starting something new, whether it's a career shift, a lifestyle change, or a personal project, can be daunting. But as a devoted Stoic, you have the tools to navigate these waters with grace and resilience. If you are experiencing the fear of starting something new, these are effective remedies for you. First and foremost, take a deep breath. This simple act is a powerful tool in regaining your composure and clarity. Life changes, as we know, are rarely easy and predictable. However, by embracing a stoic mindset, you can conquer these challenges. Think clearly and steadfastly push away negative thoughts about the outcomes before you even start. Remember the words of the great stoic philosopher Seneca. We suffer more often in imagination than in reality. This quote reminds us that our fears and anxieties are often products of our overactive minds. As you stand at the threshold of this new chapter, don't rush into it. Take it step by step and give yourself a chance to reboot your spirit. Understand that you're not procrastinating, rather. This is a crucial time for you to realize that you're moving towards something brighter with full inner strength. In the modern world, where the hustle is relentless, this approach is not just wise but necessary. It allows you to gather your thoughts, align your goals, and proceed with a clear, undisturbed mind. Incorporate this stoic practice into your daily routine. When faced with the fear of starting something new, visualize it as a path leading to a garden of opportunities. Each step you take is a seed of effort that you're planting, which will eventually bloom into success and fulfillment. This metaphor serves as a reminder that every great journey begins with a single thoughtful step. Moreover, connect this philosophy to contemporary life. In today's fast-paced world, we often feel pressured to jump into new ventures head first without adequate preparation or thought. However, by applying stoic principles, you can approach these situations with a calm and measured mindset. Offer advice to your audience on how to integrate these practices into their daily lives. For instance, Suggest starting each day with a moment of reflection, contemplating the steps they will take towards their new venture, and reminding themselves of their inner strength and capability. In conclusion, the fear of starting something new is a common hurdle, but one that can be overcome with stoic wisdom. By taking a deep breath, proceeding step by step, and aligning your actions with stoic principles, you can navigate these changes with confidence and serenity. Remember. Every new beginning is a chance to grow and evolve. And with a stoic mindset, you're well equipped to embrace these opportunities. Don't underestimate yourself. In the journey of life, especially when embarking on new endeavors, it's common to be gripped by the fear of the unknown. This fear often manifests as self doubt, particularly after experiencing setbacks or failures. It's a natural response to question our abilities, to fixate on past mistakes and to convince ourselves that we're incapable of succeeding in new ventures. However, this mindset, rooted in fear, can significantly hinder our growth and potential. The Stoic philosophy, with its profound wisdom, offers guidance in such situations. It teaches us the importance of recognizing our self-worth and cautions against underestimating ourselves. When we belittle our capabilities without substantial evidence, we're essentially allowing fear to take the driver's seat in our lives. This fear, often unfounded, can distort our perception of reality and our abilities. To counter this, Stoicism encourages us to adopt a different perspective. Instead of viewing new beginnings with apprehension, we should approach them with excitement and curiosity, embracing new experiences, learning new skills, and stepping out of our comfort zones are not just acts of bravery. They are investments in ourselves. Each new challenge is an opportunity to discover unexplored facets of our personality and to reaffirm our faith in our own value. Consider the story of Zeno of Citium, 
the founder of Stoicism. After suffering a shipwreck, he lost nearly everything. Yet this misfortune led him to discover Socratic philosophy, which eventually inspired him to establish Stoicism. Zeno's experience teaches us that sometimes what appears to be a setback is actually a stepping stone to something greater. His journey exemplifies how embracing new beginnings, even those born from failures, can lead to profound self-discovery and growth. In our modern lives, this Stoic lesson remains highly relevant. When starting something new, it's crucial to shift our focus from fear to excitement. By doing so, we deceive fear itself, transforming it into a catalyst for personal development. New beginnings are not just about doing something for the first time. They're about enriching our lives, broadening our horizons, and strengthening our belief in our own capabilities. To further illustrate this point, let's consider the allegory of the phoenix. This mythical bird is known for rising from its ashes, symbolizing rebirth and renewal. Like the phoenix, we too can rise from our past failures, rejuvenated and ready to embrace new opportunities. Each new endeavor is a chance to reinvent ourselves, to learn from our past, and to emerge stronger and wiser. In conclusion, the fear of starting something new is a common challenge, but it's one that can be overcome with a stoic mindset. By recognizing our self-worth, embracing new experiences with excitement, and viewing each new beginning as an opportunity for self-discovery and growth, we can transform fear into a powerful ally. As we navigate through life's uncertainties, let us remember that every new journey is a chance to uncover new layers of our personality and to reaffirm our faith in our own value. This stoic approach not only enriches our lives but also empowers us to live with purpose and resilience. Seek help if necessary. In our journey through life, and particularly when embarking on new ventures, it's natural to encounter the fear of the unknown. This fear can be paralyzing. But as we delve into the Stoic teachings, we find valuable remedies to overcome this trepidation. Remember, as Seneca once said, It is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that they are difficult. Firstly, let's address a common misconception. The belief that seeking help is a sign of weakness. This couldn't be further from the truth, in fact. Asking for assistance is a hallmark of wisdom and strength. Each individual is unique, with their own set of skills and limitations. Recognizing this and reaching out for support is not only reasonable, but also a testament to one's self-awareness and humility. Consider this scenario. You've just joined a new company and the prospect of mingling with new colleagues seems daunting. Here, the stoic practice of courage and practical wisdom comes into play. Approach your team leader and request an introduction to your colleagues. This simple act can significantly ease your integration into the team. When you meet your colleagues during lunch breaks or in the cafeteria, you'll find that initial conversation much more approachable. Moreover, the act of helping and being helped creates a symbiotic relationship that benefits all involved. It's a way to improve ourselves and spread joy to those who assist us. Marcus Aurelius a renowned Stoic philosopher aptly noted, what is not good for the swarm is not good for the bee. This highlights the importance of community and mutual support in our personal growth and well-being. In addition to seeking help, another Stoic remedy for overcoming the fear of starting something new is to embrace the concept of amor fati, a love of fate. This means accepting and loving everything that happens including our fears and challenges. By embracing our circumstances, we can transform our fear into a driving force for growth and learning. Furthermore, the Stoics teach us about premeditatio malorum, the premeditation of evils. This involves visualizing the worst-case scenarios and mentally preparing for them. By doing so, we often realize that our fears are not as daunting as they seem, and even if they are, we are better equipped to face them. Another key aspect is to focus on what is within our control and let go of what isn't. This principle, central to Stoic philosophy, encourages us to direct our energy and efforts towards our actions and attitudes rather than external outcomes. This shift in focus can significantly reduce anxiety and fear associated with new beginnings. 
Lastly, remember the words of Epictetus. First, say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. This powerful statement urges us to envision our ideal self, and then take concrete steps towards becoming that person. It's about setting intentions, making plans, and then executing them with courage and determination. In conclusion, the fear of starting something new is a common experience, but through the wisdom of Stoicism, we can find effective remedies. Seeking help, embracing amor fati, preparing for the worst, focusing on what's within our control, and setting clear intentions are all powerful tools in this endeavor. As you embark on new journeys, remember these teachings and let them guide you towards a fulfilling and fearless pursuit of your goals. Embrace the differences. Embracing the differences in life, especially after enduring emotional trauma, is akin to a journey through uncharted waters. We often find ourselves yearning for a fresh start, a new environment that promises rejuvenation and a break from the past. Yet, paradoxically, we cling to our familiar nests, fearing that stepping out might expose us to unknown dangers. It's crucial to recognize that absolute safety is a myth. No place can offer complete protection from life's inherent uncertainties. In this context, it's essential to remind ourselves of the positive aspects that lie ahead once we initiate change. It's a comforting thought to realize that, in a world inhabited by billions, you are not alone in your struggles. Each individual has their own set of challenges to overcome. This shared human experience should not be a source of despair, but rather a beacon of hope and solidarity. As the Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, it is not because things are difficult that we do not dare. It is because we do not dare that they are difficult. This quote encapsulates the essence of facing new beginnings with courage and determination. The path to overcoming the fear of starting anew lies in taking proactive steps, however small they may seem. It's about embracing the initiative to search for new opportunities and experiences. The unfamiliar, which we often perceive as daunting or negative, can surprisingly turn into powerful catalysts for personal growth and renewal. These differences, these changes, are not just obstacles, but stepping stones leading to a stronger, more resilient self. In modern life, where change is the only constant, this stoic approach becomes even more relevant. The advice here is to not just passively accept change, but to actively engage with it. View each new beginning not as a threat, but as an opportunity for growth and learning. The fear of starting something new is natural, but it's through this very fear that we find the strength to rise above our past experiences and embark on a journey towards a better life. In summary, the fear of starting anew, especially after emotional trauma, is a universal challenge. However, by embracing the differences, recognizing the shared human experience of struggle, and viewing change as an opportunity rather than a threat, we can find the strength to move forward. This Stoic perspective, deeply rooted in the wisdom of ancient philosophy, remains profoundly applicable in our contemporary lives, guiding us towards resilience and renewal. As we journey together through the adventure of life, remember, it's not just about the destination, but the path we choose to take. Today we've explored how to transform our lives into a memorable adventure, filled with stories, transformations, and extraordinary experiences. Remember, each day is a new chapter in your own unique story, a chance to embrace change, connect with others, and find joy in the intensity of living. If you've found value in our journey today, I invite you to join our Stoic in Your Life community. Like this video to support our content, share it with those who might also benefit from our Stoic wisdom, and subscribe to our channel for more insights into living a life of resilience and serenity. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos, where we continue to explore the profound teachings of Stoicism and apply them to the modern hustle. Together, let's embark on this Stoic journey, embracing each day as an opportunity for growth, connection, and happiness. Remember, your life is your adventure. Make it extraordinary. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep living stoically.